the BAB, the Bergische Afterverband, and want to show you our project. First, I want to say um, something about the Lenzo, where our project is based. Then, uh, what are the unique features of the site, and um, what the project Mitte Boulogne is about. And in the second part, Mr. Wolf uh, will do the uh, next steps of the presentation. Yeah, we are based at the landfill that is operating since 1982 in the area of Cologne. It was the first landfill that got an European Economic Audit in Germany. And um, the BAV is conducting the landfill. Later, it expanded to a management center where the research groups are also uh, be involved. Since the end of uh, 2004, the organic waste is not stored anymore, but is, is still there in a process for the industrial biogas plant. Now I will show you the site and where it is. You can find us in Cologne. There is the base of our university and we are at the campus in Gummersbach and in, this, in between of Cologne and Gummersbach there is the landfill. Here is a picture of the landfill. It is uh, from uh, 2013 I think. So, um, we have some unique features at this landfill because there is a uh, waste management company and it is close to the university. We have the big chance to be in the direct contact between the industrial, uh, the industry and the universities. So, there are three areas for getting involved with the industry and also research hall where we can get in contact with the industry and the university. All in all, this is the first choice for the realization of the lower league chain. Yeah, this picture is not as good as I thought. You can see some goats at the meadows at the landfill after the refill. It was rehydration there, and this is a chance for the nature and also for the animals that uh, you can use the landfill after finished the storing of the waste. The Mittelbrunn project itself was uh, finally founded after the uh, lepid deponie was uh, finished, the industrial was founded there and everybody uh, could see that there is a chance for the industry and also for the research groups. An interdisciplinary research group was founded and get clues and behind what we can do in the project. So, topics and contents are discussed and in the end the initiators, the University of Applied Sciences of Cologne, the GECOC, Gummersbach Environmental, Environmental Computing Center and as well the BAV are the initiators of the program and getting into contact with each other and Metabolon was founded. Here is the winning design of the project. Here you can find the landfill. It's a circle in the left uh, corner. And there's not only the landfill anymore. Everybody can go there and visit the, the landfill and also the research groups. And we do summer schools as well. 
Here you can see the uh, entrance area with the cafeteria, with an area where the industry or companies can present their products. And you can also see uh, young people there from, that are enjoying and going there for playing in the, uh, in the gardens that there are for the kids. So this was my part and the next steps are explained by Mr. Wolf. Yeah, hello everybody. So, um, just to introduce myself, myself very quickly, um, um, I did a um, PhD in Electronic Engineering at the National University of Ireland in Munut. And um, I'm now in charge of this Metabolon project. So, to talk a little bit about the project organization, if you make such a huge project with a budget of more than 11 million euros uh, in only for funds for research, you need to have a, spe a special structure and also for the landfill side. So, um, <clears throat> of course, at the top, um, the people in charge here are from the Waste Management Association. So, they uh, are the company uh, that are basically organizing all that and then um, the different fields of, um, that take place at the landfill side are then grouped into four different pillars, so different topics. Um, the first one that we uh, wanted to do is to create a place of learning outside of school um, because waste management is a very important um, uh, topic in our society and although we have a quite a good um, <coughs> managed uh, waste system with a lot, we do a lot of sorting uh, with from plastics to paper and everything sort separately, but it's not working that well, so people do not really sort the waste properly. So we thought it would be a great idea to start already with the children, bring them uh, in a kindergarten age or even in the early school age, bring them to the landfill side, show them what is it about with waste? How do you sort waste? What consequences are there if you do not sort waste properly? And uh, that's how we created here at the landfill site a green classroom. So it's directly at the landfill site. And you can, um, uh, they can do experiments there with the waste. Um, how uh, particles in the waste are settling. Um, how it can be treated. And they can also visit all the industrial facilities that are there at the landfill site and get a very good impression of what's going on. Um, then one thing I will uh, talk a little bit more later is that um, we also have a place of learning outside of university, so where we can conduct our research and this research is a great thing for us, it can be beyond research in a laboratory, a very small scale. We can directly perform research together with the industry, together with the companies in a pilot scale or even in a full scale application at the site and this is a great opportunity for us. Um, the problem, uh, so here you can see the um, European Teaching Research Center of the Cologne University that was here created at the landfill site. We have here our offices for the researchers in this building and next to it we have a big hall where all the pilot scale uh, facilities are. Um, as you can imagine, a landfill is not really the best place to visit if you are in another country because normally you associate a landfill with a lot of smell and uh, not a nice environment. So what we then thought, if we transform this landfill site into uh, a place for learning uh, and um, to do experiments there, we have to also do something for the public to get public acceptance of our project. And so what we did, we created um, <coughs> Um, a leisure and recreation uh, park there. Um, so what you can do there now, you can go mountain biking, so we have uh, certain uh, cross-country and downhill trails there. Um, we also uh, have a place where you can play cross golf, which is uh, very well adapted by the uh, surrounding um, villages. Um, so um, there are a lot of playgrounds for children as well. So now people actually can come from all the surrounding villages and the big towns, they come to the landfill site, can not only see the research that we are doing, but can also enjoy, have a very good time and see how actually research and practice work together hand in hand. And this is a, a, a very nice thing. Um, then uh, we talked about it already this morning, then how to um, basically involve industry in projects. 
So uh, we thought about that and then we thought it would be great if we could basically make room for a business park at the landfill site. Um, that means we have here a pretty large area on the landfill um, that is developed at the moment. And the idea behind that is that if uh, a company is interested in doing some experiments with different waste streams, they can contact us and then we can set up a, a place for them at the landfill site. They can come in with their office, with a few people, um, and do their experiments there. Um, which is uh, not only a great way for us to put our research into practice and to cooperate with them, uh, but it's also um, actually great for them because very often they do not have the, the, the money or the possibilities to test their uh, new developments in a pilot scale or full scale. Um, yeah, um, now I'm going to focus a little bit about research. We are here also at the university, so what are our concepts and goals there? Um, <clears throat> main parts of our research um, is waste to energy. So we have all these different kinds of waste streams that are there at the landfill site. The organic fraction of municipal solid waste, we have scrap wood, we have construction waste, we have electronics. Um, all different kinds of waste streams are there. And our um, challenge is now, how do, can we create energy out of this uh, waste stream? And also, um, how can we get valuable materials out of the waste that are in there? If we are talking about electronics, there are a lot of uh, very important uh, uh, metals in the electronics. How do we extract them? And how do we do that in a very energy efficient way? Um, so these are the things that are interesting for us. And also, if we have all the material there, how do we create a material flow management in the whole area surrounding the landfill site? So we get the waste streams to us, how can we distribute the valuables again back into the communities? Um, so then we wanted to develop an internationally accepted center of knowledge for treatment and renewable energy. And uh, we did that by um, contacting several universities. So uh, we contacted the University of uh, Graz in Austria. Uh, the University of uh, Bonn, University Cologne, Queen's University Belfast, and all those came together and then we discussed what can we actually do. And uh, then we said what's mostly missing today is that you have a lot of laboratory experiments and you have full-scale applications, but you have nothing in between. But if you want to transfer um, developments and research to full-scale applications, you need an intermediate step. And this is why the installation and operation of pilot plants is one of our major focuses right now. So create a platform that people can use to basically transform research results into applications. Um, of course this is accompanied by a scientific advisory board. Um, there are people from many different universities sit in there and they are evaluating our research. So we do, uh, every six months we present all the research results that we have to them and they do an ever very close evaluation. Also normally one or two people from the Ministry of North rhine westphalia Ministry of Energy are also involved in that and then they look at the results and then give us very valuable feedback on how to proceed. Um, <coughs> so what is then the unique um, structure of this site? Um, we have the pilot plants, this was one point I already talked about, but we also have a very good laboratory infrastructure. Um, the uh, waste management company built a completely new laboratory for us with, and we could uh, just tell them our wishes, what we would like to have and then said you will get it. And uh, this is a very nice, uh, nice situation that we have there. And so we can support basically a test that we do at the pilot plants by a very good laboratory infrastructure. And then we have a transfer center there where we are, have regular conferences, congresses, uh, meetings with industrial partners to actually then transfer the knowledge to our industry partners and those who are interested. And um, this has taken off uh, in a better way than we expected. So, so far we have visitor uh, groups visiting our landfill site from all over the world uh, um, that come there, look at the site, um, are, um, get, um, are also inspired by it and um, 
now there is even one landfill site, there's a huge landfill site in Belfast, which is directly next to the sea line in the group. And um, they are now thinking about a similar approach. Because they also think about how to transform the landfill site, how to provide a future for that site, and um, they think this might be also a good option. So, what are our research topics? So, I won't go into detail, just that you get an impression. So, we have all different kinds of wastes that go there, and we are looking at incineration, gasification, uh, biogas production. Um, we were always already talking about overfunding of biogas. I think for agricultural biogas production this is true. But how about industrial biogas production from food waste, for example, or from organic waste which comes from the municipalities, um, for example, grass cuttings and things like that. There, biogas is a very, very interesting process. Um, then uh, hydrothermal carbonization pyrolysis, uh, how to uh, get coal out of um, bio waste and also how to use materials. So what we hope to generate is electricity, of course. Uh, we want to produce as much energy as possible, but also heat, fuels, um, chemical raw materials, uh, looking at wastewater treatment here. We have a lot of leachate from the landfill side. We are also thinking about treatment of um, uh, wastewater sludge uh, just to extract phosphate, for example, which is a very valuable material as well. So you can see it's a huge project and we want to do many different things. And um, the project started in 2010 and now we are looking for funding for another five years uh, for this project. Um, to do all that. So existing research areas at the landfill site were of course um, research directly connected to the landfill. Landfill gas for example was a big topic there. They extract the gas from the landfill and uh, then uh, use it to, redu uh, to produce energy in cogeneration units. Problem is with time your gas production decreases because the degradation in the landfill site slows down a little bit so then they were thinking about what can we do with infiltration. If we put water inside the landfill, landfill, can we speed up degradation or improve degradation and stabilize gas production? Um, very interesting things. Then also leachate treatment. Leachate is kind of the worst wastewater that you could think of. You have a, because of <coughs> the, the uh, landfill is a, it's quite old, there are a lot of heavy metals in there and also most of the carbon that is in the leachate is, uh, cannot be degraded anymore because it was already degraded for the landfill gas so it's very difficult to treat. So we are working there together with people from uh, Leverkusen from the uh, Bayer company, maybe you know the big chemical company that are specialized in this kind of wastewater treatment as well. Then of course renewable energy. You can see here the, the industrial scale biogas plant that is there situated at the site. It has an energy production of 1.1 megawatts and uh, a thermal uh, production of uh, 1.4 megawatts. Um, it's combined to a composting plant and they have always have problems with process stability. So we are doing a lot of research on how to efficiently control the plant how to um, develop instrumentation, online measurement systems that can uh, allow a better monitoring of the process. And also, um, as part of the landfill site is already closed, we uh, are doing a lot of research on flexible uh, um, um, solar panels and then use them for energy production. Um, just to give you a, a few pictures of our pilot scale plan, we have here a pilot scale plan for biogas production. Um, it's uh, a plant that has uh, in total um, six cubic meters. Um, it is um, um, fully uh, automatically controlled and we have a lot of instrumentation systems in there. And uh, we use it at the moment to um, basically test measurement systems to try out new substrates. Also, uh, how can we improve the pretreatment of the biological waste that we have there. Um, and then how does that affect the process? Can we improve biogas production? Uh, we have here a pilot scale plant for leachate treatment. So this is part of the research hall here where we do experiments. Um, they, at the moment they treat the leachate with a membrane, with membranes. So we have here 
uh, um, a two street treatment plant, one with membranes, one without. So we can do experiments. How can we? Uh, how does the two technologies can be compared? What is the energy efficiency and things like that? Um, we <coughs> are now at the moment uh, constructing a plan for hydrothermal carbonization as well. You can see the first stage of the construction here, so it will be finished at the end of this month, hopefully, and then we will start operation on that. Um, here you can see the laboratory that we have. Um, I'm not an expert in uh, chemical analysis, but um, it's really amazing what you can do there. We have uh, HPLCs, uh, gas chromatography, um, uh, all different kinds of uh, analytical methods available. Um, new research areas, <coughs> biogas production, treatment of waste, combustion, innovative measurement technology. At the moment we are looking a lot into spectroscopic measurements in the ultraviolet range, near-infrared, mid-infrared, how to develop low-cost measurements for that. What we can offer basically, so if anybody is interested in collaboration, so uh, we are automation engineers, we work together uh, with process engineers a lot and we can offer modeling, simulation, optimization. We do a lot of machine learning by analyzing all the process data that we get, um, process control, software engineering, image analysis, and also project management of European projects. So we had several FP7 projects, have now at the moment one Horizon 2020 projects in the wastewater area um, and also have one running FP7 Marie Curie action at the moment um, as the, we were the first University of Applied Sciences in Germany to ever get a Marie Curie action. Um, yeah, what we are looking for always, so uh, we are always for looking for research partners in European or associated European countries as Georgia um, 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 but also other countries, also always looking for SME partners. Um, small and medium sized uh, enterprises have been our most valuable partners. Also for FP7 and also for Horizon 2020 we made very good experience with the SME programs from the European Union. And of course if anybody has a test case and says we would like to use your pilot scale plans for testing, so we have an application but we would like to further explore it and see how it performs, you are most welcome to come. Come to us, use our pilot scale facilities. They are not always fully booked, so I'm sure we will find a way so that we can cooperate on that front as well. Just quickly partners, so these are here more <coughs> um, German partners or German and, and Austrian partners. Um, several universities also here, Hamburg Harburg is also a partner. Um, the University in Aachen as well, here the University in Austria, Graz. Um, then through our university projects in Europe we also have partners in Maynooth Island of course, University College Cork, Linköping University in Sweden, um, the University of Novi Sad in Serbia as well, um, yet uh, Technical University Delft. So those are our international partners that we are closely cooperating with. Um, so, if you're interested in any cooperation with those partners, I'm also sure that we could set something up there. Um, and of course, Isaiah as well, which uh, helped us not only to this project, but also to others. So, we are very grateful to be part of that alliance as well. So, just a short conclusion. So, we set out with a goal at the beginning to transform a landfill site into a European research center. And uh, so far, I would say uh, we were lucky, it seems to work. <laughs> and um, so we now have very good national international knowledge transfer. And we have cross-university teaching, starting with small children, continuing to students, and then bring it into industry. And um, still try to improve and establish a regional material flow management for the use of unexploited energy sources. Um, yeah, so it was a very brief, very quick overview about the whole project, so I'm most welcome to answer all of your questions and yeah, so thank you very much.